let's see banking of roll when friction is present. So far we have seen that if we have a circular track and a car is moving on that at the top view. If you draw the cross-sectional view of this road then it is banked like this and we found that tan theta is v square upon rg that's the radius of the circular track car is moving and road is not flat like this it is banked that's a cross-sectional view which you look here in this view the scar is going inwards remember velocity is what inwards cross for in this is a situation when friction is not present fr is zero if this car decreases its velocity it will slide down if it increases it will go up now we'll see a case where friction is present coefficient of friction between tires and road is mu and we are interested in finding maximum velocity which a car can maintain on a banked road mu is present and our aim is to find an expression for v maximum on this banked road the only difference is now friction is present so what happens let's draw the side view again cross-sectional view of the road this is theta that's your car downward force is mg normal reaction is coming from this side this is n now if you increase the velocity and it becomes maximum then this car has a tendency to slide up if this is a car it's not like this it's like this it's not like this it's like this it's taking a circular turn on a banked road and if you increase the velocity as you increase velocity on a banked road if theta is fixed if you increase v then this relation says that car will try to increase the radius and to increase the radius what it does it tries to slide up so that its distance from the center increases now in this figure car is moving with maximum velocity and radius at this moment is r at the center and this car has a tendency to slide up move up the incline if it has a tendency to move up then to oppose this tendency friction force will act downwards that's your friction which is opposing this tendency to go up and since we are discussing a critical case your v is what maximum this friction will reach its maximum value and maximum of friction we know is what mu n when you consider the case where v is minimum 
this car will have a tendency to slide downwards and this friction will be pointing up again if v is minimum again that is a critical case if v is minimum that means this car is about to slip v is maximum again car is about to slip about to slip and therefore friction will reach in both cases where v is maximum or minimum this friction will take its maximum value it's not that v is max therefore it's max when v is minimum again friction will be maximum because it's like about to move condition so this is the friction that's your center now usual things we must have forces resolved in this direction and in this direction these forces will provide necessary centripetal force and these forces will simply balance this vertical movement let's resolve all these things so we are interested in this vertical axis and the horizontal axis this is theta this angle is theta this is 90 minus theta this is also theta that means component of n in this direction is coming n cos theta and component of n in this direction is coming n sin theta similarly this is fr which is mu n and this angle is coming theta if this is theta then friction its component in this direction in this direction will be mu n mu n cos of theta mu n cos theta and the other component is pointing downwards this component is mu n sine of theta mg is already along the given axis we always decide these axis first this axis is horizontal because it's pointing towards the center now all the forces which are acting towards the center they will provide necessary centripetal force and therefore this mu n cos theta and this n sin theta mu n cos theta plus n sin theta these two things they will provide mv square upon r and this we remember is what v maximum this n cos theta is going to balance ng as well as mu n sin theta and therefore n cos theta is equal to what mu n sin theta plus ng mu n sin theta plus ng vertical forces are balanced horizontal forces they are providing necessary centripetal force now shift this mu n sin theta to the left side and then you can take n common if you shift this side this becomes n times cos theta minus mu sin theta which is mg n common cos theta minus mu sin theta is coming what mg now let's divide this equation and this equation this is equation number one and this is equation number two when you divide these equations n n n these things are cancelled and therefore this becomes mu cos theta mu cos theta plus sin theta divided by cos theta minus mu sin theta is coming what m m cancelled this is coming v square upon rg now from this whole part from the whole part take cos theta common when you take cos theta common it will become mu plus 
if you take cos common, this is sine upon cos. What is sine upon cos? Tan theta. You get mu plus tan theta divided by cos is common. This is 1 minus, you take cos common, sine upon cos again is what? 10. 1 minus mu tan theta, which is coming V square upon Rg. This is the expression when car is moving on a rough road, friction is present and its velocity is what? Maximum. This is the expression for banking which you will get. Now, let's see if this result is correct or not. This is a general expression in terms of mu. If you put mu 0, then it becomes this situation only. And let's see if it matches with this part. If you put mu 0, this is gone. Mu 0, this is gone. You are left only with what? Tan theta, which is coming what? V square upon Rg, V square upon Rg. Hopefully, you understood how to handle this question, which is based on friction and circular motion both together. Again, simple things are what? You have to, you have to take this car, find out all the forces, resolve the forces, and then handle all those forces along a given axis, along a given axis. This car, because of maximum velocity, has a tendency to slip up the incline or up the bank, and therefore, and therefore, friction is pointing downwards. And remember, if V is max or V is minimum, in both cases, friction will become what? Maximum. This is the property of static friction. It becomes what? Maximum when skidding or slipping is about to happen. That's the reason it is what? Maximum. When you go for V minimum, that is an exercise for you. You should try that part. For V minimum, only thing is what? Change the direction of friction. Once you change the direction of friction, there will be two components, one like this and the other like this. And then I hope you can handle that. Once you get the answer, again use the same trick, put mu zero. If you get tan theta as V square upon Rg for V minimum, that means your answer or your method was correct. Note on everything.